So the way I like to think about hyperbaric oxygen therapy very simply is that you're giving your body the primary nutrient under pressure. And as a result of that, you're causing the system to begin to regenerate. So if you think about it, a lot of people, when they have less oxygen, do not function very well. So when we add oxygen to the system, we're actually changing the body cellularly. Increasing pressure increases the amount of oxygen, so we're increasing blood flow, we're increasing oxygen flow, and therefore we're increasing the opportunity for the body to begin to regenerate. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is one of the few treatment modalities that can treat many, many, many different uh, conditions. Studies have shown that hyperbaric oxygen therapy actually changes or modulates over 8,000 genes. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy essentially causes healing. It causes a decrease in inflammation. It can cause a decrease in inflammatory proteins called cytokines. It increases the release of stem cells. It also can help fight infection. So it has many, many different abilities to create change in your body. The hyperbaric chamber that we use is something called a monoplace chamber. This chamber is a large acrylic cylinder. Many patients are concerned about claustrophobia, but the fact that you can see through it, that you can have direct visualization with the attendant who's always right next to you, and you can even have a loved one or a caregiver right outside the chamber, and that often gives the patient comfort. A typical hyperbaric oxygen session will last anywhere from 60 minutes to 90 minutes at pressure. So for the most patients, you can imagine it might take 10 minutes to get to pressure, you're at pressure, let's say, for an hour or an hour and a half, and then another 10 minutes to get back to atmospheric pressure. The diagnoses that we typically treat are diabetic foot ulcers, chronic infections, failed flaps, radiation injury, amongst others. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is covered by insurance for 13 different diagnoses in the United States. So you'll find that there are some processes that are going to be covered and some wouldn't be covered. Most patients that I've sent for hyperbaric therapy have sort of a taboo approach to it when they first see it. They are not really receptive of the idea, but once they've seen the results, which are typically quite dramatic, they've been very pleased with treatment. My experience with using hyperbaric oxygen therapy has been very positive. In cases where uh, I feel it's necessary for my cosmetic patients, the outcome is far superior than not having hyperbaric oxygen therapy. As far as the patient experience is concerned, it's a very pleasant experience for the patient. I really haven't had any negative feedback from any patients and their return to regular living has been just so much quicker and happier. All in all, it's been a very positive experience working with hyperbaric medical solutions.